Jan Oser here, coming to you uh, on a Sunday, which is why I have the scruffy appearance and why my office looks like uh, a tornado. I um, want to talk about some new turnkey systems that are built by uh, several manufacturers that are surrounding um, Telstream Rcast by, by Telstream and also the, um, the Matrox VS4 four-channel HDSDI hardware card. So apparently a few months ago, Matrox and Telstream went out and, and decided to find some people who would build these turnkey systems. We're looking at two of them today. One is the, um, the machine, Stream Machine Pro, which is the machine I'll show you in a second. It's about a $9,000, uh, about a 40-pound lunch pail computer that's, that's total, you know, soup to nuts, everything you need. It's got a it's got a 17-inch LCD panel. It's got an, uh, an embedded keyboard. It's got about seven slots, uh, including the one that's got the, um, the VS4. So it's a very, very high-performance computer. According to the One Beyond website, it's being used by NASA for some of their, um, some of their launch and, and, and pre-launch uh, DDR-type capabilities. So not sure how much you know about Wirecast. It's a production studio on a computer. I've never particularly used it on a high-performance system before. Never used it with a, uh, with a capture card like the BS4. I've used it a bunch of times with DV and HDV source, but those were running in software, not in hardware. And running with the Matrox, and especially on a hot box like the, um, like the uh, Stream Machine Pro that's got a, it's got a six-core i7 uh, Intel processor with HTT, that's 12 cores. And it's a really beastly system. And the machine is really putting out some impressive um, impressive results. And when it, you know, one of the things I didn't like about Wirecast when I ran it in software, when I ran just DV and, and, um, and HDV, is the previews were pretty slow. So it looked like I was getting between 15 and 20 frames per second. And if you look at a, um, a TriCaster, everything's always full frame rate. And that's what I'm seeing today. You know, I'm looking at a two camera system. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second, but the performance is wonderful. So if you're not familiar with Wirecast, let me, uh, let me show you some things that it can do. Um, to start, I'm running with two cameras. I've got a Panasonic uh, ABC HD camcorder. I've got audio set up on that camera, and the audio is set up to, to stay with that camera. It's parked there, so you should, shouldn't hear audio when I switch cameras to the, um, to the second camera, which is right, right here. And this is a, uh, just a hero camera. Both of these cameras are HDMI out. Um, but the VS4 is um, HD-SDI in, so I'm using a Blackmagic Design converter that takes the HD or HDMI signal and converts it to HD-SDI. The converter box, I think, eh, I'm guessing, I think it's about 150 bucks, but I could be wrong. But it's a nice convenience if you're using, you know, if you want to buy advanced capture systems and still have it used with your HDMI camcorders. So what can Wirestream do? Um, let me get back to the main camera here. And, you know, you see the lovely title. Oops, turning the bug on and off, wrong layers mixed up. So it's, it can do a bug, it can do a transparent bug. Um, it can do a title, it can do, and this is really kind of a cool feature. So it can take input from another computer on the LAN. This is a PowerPoint presentation that's on my, on my uh, laptop. And you download a free piece of software on your laptop and then Anything on that screen goes to Wirecast. So it's a great way to, you know, if you're giving a presentation, it's a great way to integrate audio and video and then stream it out. One of the nicest solutions out there, certainly in the, uh, you know, the $500 price range that you, that you have for Wirecast. The system, you know, what we're running today is two cameras in. Um, and one of the cool features about the VS4 is it's got the ability to archive the raw streams to disk. And I think this is what NASA is interested in. They've got multiple cameras hooked up and they're able to take each individual stream from each camera and then archive that to disk as well as, you know, take the, uh, the mixed feed from Wirecast, store that to disk. And I'm also broadcasting, let me come back over to, and I'm also broadcasting to live stream at this point. So we've got four streams going on this computer it's between 27 and 32 percent of overall CPU utilization. So it's a very, very impressive, you know, high performance system. I don't think it would be dramatically different if we had four cameras. I think you may, uh, we may need a much faster disk to write four streams to disk. But, um, but I think the CPU, you know, most of the video processing load is handled by the VS4. It's not, it's not handled by the, uh, by the computer itself. So 
Let me see if I've covered everything. Oh yeah, I should talk about the DV, DVR capability. So if you want to see another video of me. Um, against the current, at least with Apple, and then with Microsoft's recent announcement about their tablet-oriented operating system. You know, it's not out yet. I don't think it's a significant effect, but, you know, they can't fight those. So that's number one. Number two, some of the blogs that I looked at, they were talking about... So Wirecast itself is pretty impressive. You know, it gives you a lot of capabilities, gives you the, the nice transitions between the shots, the, between the scene changes, or the, the camera switches. Gives you titles, gives you bugs, gives you uh, DDR, gives you presentations from either the camera you're working with, the computer you're working with, or another computer on the same lamp. Um, the Matrox card is giving me, again, real-time previews, and we should be getting real-time, you know, 30 frame per second, 720p, um, stored to the hard drive from each source. And that's pretty impressive if you need that kind of, um, you know, if you need to, to capture all that video. Um, I think if I'm leaving anything off here. It is a, uh, I guess Wirecast is, is, a, is a streaming service provider agnostic. It's got a lot of presets for, um, for channels like the old live stream, Brightcove, Bamboozer, Justin TV, um, Sermon.net, Show Center, Streaming Media Hosting, Ustream, YouTube. So it, um, you can use it for any, you know, or most any service out there. And it also can stream to RTMP. Um, if all you've got is a server settings, you're streaming to your own server, it can do that. It can also handle Windows Media and QuickTime, although I think Windows Media is Windows only. Um, uh, Wirecast is a cross-platform system, but uh, I think the VS4 bundles that they put together are, are Windows only. Obviously, nobody does bundle, or let, let me not say that. Some people do bundled Mac systems, but um, generally they're, they're priced out of the price range for producers in this class. Um, I like the concept of a bundled system, the turnkey systems, you know, if there's one vendor you're buying the hardware and software from, you've got guaranteed performance. If things don't work, you've got one finger to point. You're also, you also have a new system, so as long as you don't load a lot of ancillary software, it should work fairly reliably. I've been testing two systems from, um, from one beyond. Let me show you this one. It's a beast of a system, but it's a real high performer. And here it is. So it's got an embedded keyboard, which is nice. Has a 17-inch LCD panel, also nice. I guess I can kill the. And here's the side view, and you can see how many slots you have. You know, it looks like, you know, the uh, the slot with the BNC connectors. That's obviously the uh, the VS4. We've got three above that and two below it. There's a um, there's an NVIDIA. Uh, 620 card, not a not a quad, or it is a quadra, not a quadra, but we've got an NVIDIA 620 card in here. So you've got a lot of slots. If you need to do things other than video capture, you obviously have that capability. Um, let me see if there's anything I've forgotten. You know, that's it. There's going to be a bunch of turnkey systems. There were six or seven vendors listed. Um, you can get details on the two systems that I had looked at from one beyond at the review that you're probably watching this around. And I think that, uh, I think that's it. I'm Jan Ozer. Thanks for watching.